Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trader with me, Bracketon. Let's go see what the emergency is on Dargonis and then save a merchant ship. So the event is called the Imposter. An imposter has arrived on the planet, claiming that he is the rogue trader. How dare someone impost me? Not sure why I can't declare a hunt for him. <laughs> so I guess we'll smoke him out. Begin mass executions. The terrified populace seized the imposter and handed him over to enforcers by themselves. Alright, onward to the Silence of Mersegret. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four. Since the very start of the warp jump, rumors of ill omens have been widespread among the Voidsmen. Sudden deaths among the crew, ravaged corpses, jagged shadows lurking behind the bulkheads. A Terran day later, the mystery unraveled itself in a most heinous manner. An attempt on the rogue trader's life. The question of how the Jukari Xenos came to be aboard the ship will have to be pondered some other time. Right now, the Lord Captain has to fight for his life. They're kind of like ants. I had a feeling that some snuck on board the ship. We had that other event, I think, that hinted at it as well. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Never doubt me. Your arrogance will be your downfall. Brace yourself. I'll make it happen. Indeed. Am I getting paid for this? Don't get too cocky. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Faith without deeds isn't... I'll do it. Well, that'll show you. Doubt just land, didn't land a single hit. 
As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do what it takes. The Emperor is on our side. But of course, you're going to will endure. I won't object to it. For the throne. Let's see to it. I will do my duty. It will be done. Not me. I won't. Have it. It's another trap there. Let's see to it. I don't need luck. I have strategy. In a line of sight. Interesting. I'm assuming this thing's still blocking our line of sight, even though it's destroyed. Commands I act. for the weak. This is why I was chosen. Inflict the pain. I need a foothold. I won't object to it. Join me in prayer. Okay, that was a resounding success.
Oh, we actually have to go there. Forbidden Weapon. Yeah, I didn't see the name of the events up here before. Yava Gamma is all the way over here. Or, not that far. We have to go all the way there in order to resolve the event. Okay. Well... I think this is on a time limit. I hope it doesn't progress the main story too far. The Lord Captain and his crew have lost track of how much time they have spent in the warp jump. The vessel itself, the groaning of the bulkheads, the Boxmaster's reports. It all happened so many times before, it would happen yet again. No matter what occurred, the officers could not shake the feeling that they were running in circles, as if the voyage across the Sea of Souls would be eternal. Routine actions blended into grey nothingness and filled the crew's hearts with anguish. Many members considered submitting to the mercy of the chaotic power outside. Days went by, but the navigator did not give the order to leave the Immaterium. A heed your inner voice. The rising sense of alarm was drowned out by a dismal tedium. Time stretched into endless drudgery. When the crew began their descent into madness, the Lord Captain decided to exit the warp regardless of the consequences. However, the navigator's reports and the consumption of supplies revealed that the vessel had spent far more time in the Immaterium than was expected. It seems the vessel had gotten stranded in an, ano in an anomaly <laughs> at the point of egress and arrived at an unintended location. Everything and its mother needs me to resolve events now. The void ship is in the clutches of the warp's elements. The whirlpool has suddenly emerged and is threatening to throw the ship off course, and leave the helpless crew at the mercy of the Sea of Souls. Only the navigator's talent can save hundreds of people from madness or death. Yeah, call upon the navigator to do his duty and steer the ship back on course. That's why we've got one. Oh, did not arrive in time. I feel like I beelined it here. I think I went off course once. So really, you're on a tight schedule. Unless you're just not supposed to arrive here in time. The stars will judge you. Just the three. I misclicked, I shouldn't activate this. But not that it matters now. Could have gotten closer, but I mean, we did damage anyway. If I could ram here, that'd be fantastic. I never did make officers for my ship like I intended to.
That's what I should have done. Was had the torpedoes go towards this ship and then reactivate it. I think it would have been in range had I done that. Okay, I guess I'll just turn here and not do anything this turn. <laughs> Stay right there, I can ram him next turn and possibly one shot him. Never mind. <laughs> Escort ship's pulling its weight. He's the wheeze. Excuse my language. The enemies of humanity. I leveled up at least. Got some ghost plates. Now we can serve dinner at a haunted house. A new message from Master Scalander, Lord Captain. This time he's not reporting yet another attack, but the alleged location of one of the Xenos leaders. Achilles' aides have reported that said leader will be heading an, an attack on the Paradise World Grantis. There is one catch. The planet belongs to Caligos Winterscale, another rogue trader. Master Scalander noted in his message, the responding to a distress call is unlikely to be considered an incursion to somebody else's territory. The governor of Grantos will most likely send out a call for aid the moment the raid begins. If your voidship happens to be nearby, no one will question your reasons for landing. Why would I defend his planet anyway? Well, I guess it is being headed by one of the leaders that I was on Vivo 6. Alright, we've seen that before. I'm trying to run into repeat events in the warp. It, the warp is starting to lose its creativity. A Lord Captain. The astropathic choir have caught glimpses of horrifying visions coming from Vivo 6. Something has breached the colony from underground. Soon after a new sector of deep tunnels had been put into operation, it was overrun by monsters. They lurk in the darkness, swarm in the shadows, attack quietly, leave nothing in their wake, consuming flesh, plasteel, and rawcrete. The churning of a thousand claws heralds their approach. And desperate cries can be heard in the silence of the tunnels. Praise be to the Golden Throne. These creatures do not seem to be interested in getting to the surface. However, they have seen several active minds and are doing Emperor only knows what. What are those creatures? None who face them have survived to tell the tale. The frightened workers call them a swarm because they crawl along the tunnel like a wave. They say that the enemies are vast in numbers and are insect-like. One of the workers who is lucky to survive the attack has since come up to the surface. The horror drove him mad, but he held a wrench covered with strange engravings. The pattern was exactly the same as the one that the mad convicts had been etching into the walls. What think my advisors? The threat is unknown, and establishing the nature of the threat is a top priority. Collateral losses are insignificant. 
requesting authorization to coordinate an offensive operation to be carried out by penal battalions in order to determine the nature of the attack. We have to block off this threat and protect the people. To do this, we must blow up the tunnels, but to make sure that the plan works, it has to be done in zones currently occupied by this unknown enemy. I'm sure that a dozen brave men could be found in the colony, ones willing to accept the grace of martyrdom and descend into the darkness with the explosives. Alright, so we get a carapace fragment. This item negates all energy damage dealt to the wearer, but it cannot occur more than three times per combat. And that's pretty good. Alright, so same thing here and there. Whoops, didn't mean to click on that, but I was going to select that anyway. I get to look at the other options. Alright, may we triumph over our enemies. Squad after squad were sent into the depths. The convicts and the wardens, putting their past conflicts behind them, rallied against the unknown enemy. They understood that most of them would not return, if not all of them. The Vibo 6 defense squads met some swarm in the darkness. The monstrous insects clad in metal carapaces tore apart everything with their mandibles. The carnage inside the narrow caves cost many lives, but in the end, the creatures were exterminated, and their vile lair, now like a metallic crypt, has been ransacked and its treasures removed. So that's most likely Necrons, uh, the scarabs of the Necrons. I wonder if there, there has to be more there. It's not just scarabs. So Vibo 6 is a tomb world. Not great. <laughs> All right, we have to go to Foulstone. I also need to repair my ship. We're taking some damage. Oh, I didn't level up my ship either. I'll do that after this event. The Terror. The Jakari delivered precision strikes to the colony, tormenting its terrorized inhabitants. We can organize a militia. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Organize a militia. The militia is more than a match for the Xenos. The latter are forced to retreat empty-handed. I wonder what happens if you don't take care of these problems. Alright, so we get uh, flagship development. We get two of them. Alright. Uh, let's do improved ram. Void ship ram deals twice the additional damage for each extra tile traveled. And take it all. The flagship now collects plus 10% more scrap from destroyed ships. Awesome. I now begin the long journey over to Kiava Gamma, which is on the outskirts of our protectorate. I now get an achievement uh, for reclaiming all of the Von Valancey's colonies, so this is it as far as colonies go. That's not too bad. Got this one long route right here. Alright, let's go beat up some demons. Doomslayer style. Well, at least in Heinrichs' case. <laughs> he will rip and tear until it's done. I always keep my options open. quick save because you never know no mercy to those who oppose von Valancius.
Victory is imminent. Yeah, I should move him forward, I guess. Activate calculation fury algorithm. Running by Neric override. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Don't get too cocky. My vow is to serve insignificant value. That means you can run all the way up here, no reason not to. Usually. Me? Never in a thousand sectors. As the Emperor commands, I act. I think he'll burn to death. I'll do it. Oh, we've got extra attacks, so go ahead and use that. A third attack. We'll go ahead and use that too. Commands, Ooh, okay, no. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Indeed. At your back and call. I took care of this one. Is Everyone, step aside. But of course, Lord Captain, I'll see our foes obliterated. Well, just hang tight for now. Next turn, though, Henrix is going to get a little dirty.
Tell me, and it is done. Oh, that's right, they have that uh, energy feast ability. I can't target this guy. Put the guy behind him, but not that guy. Don't get too cocky. You've got a problem? I've got a prize. Get me a target. I'm done with this one. I won't object to it. Holy terror! Smite your enemies! Oh no! Energy Feast works on that. How unfortunate. Naturally. How unfortunate. It's not gonna do anything anyway, but worth a shot. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! All right, sorry in, or sorry in advance, Heinrichs. Faith without deeds is like a prayer. Or sorry is plural. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> Focus, Van Kellops. Focus. It will be done. One fewer target. I will do my duty. We'll rule the stars themselves. A tactically sound approach. <laughs> Reduced to dust. Uh, Heinrich is really taking one for the team that fight. I do keep forgetting that they can parry each other's attacks. So, like, even the AoE attacks, your allies can parry allied. Swings. Alright, we'll hop into the system, and then we'll hop onto the bridge, and wrap it up here, and next time we'll take care of the issue on Kiava Gamma, and then return to Vibo 6 and take care of the problem that's arisen there. Also, I guess, playing defense around the Drukhari. Though I guess we only have the next event on Grantis. But maybe take an entire episode just to take care of Kiava Gamma, and then run all the way to Vibo 6. But we'll see. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.